Hello, and welcome to an OB6 video. Surprise! Uh, so, somebody had asked me, can you make In the Light by Led Zeppelin? And you kind of can. <laughs> Okay, so I'll have to play with the pitch bend wheel in a little bit, but there we go. Um, so how did we do this? <clears throat> now, the original was not done on an OV6 because this didn't exist. Uh, I do remember uh, the keyboard it was originally done on, but not off the top of my head. It was like a fancy, really expensive one that only Led Zeppelin can afford, probably, um, for the time. Um, so there's two components here. There's sort of the effects component, and there's the actual sound. Um, so the first thing to think about is we have our oscillators, um, and we're kind of just using a pulse width. So I've got this set to a square wave. Let me just let you hear oscillator one. Um, so, you know, pretty simple sound. I've got it set to unison. And importantly, we are not using the low pass filter. We're using the high pass filter. So I've got this knob set over here. I'm almost doing nothing with the filter, though. I'm I'm just using it to take off some of the edge uh, of the bottom end. And then <clears throat> what I have is um, oscillator 2 set somewhere between a pulse and the uh, sine wave. I mean, sorry, the triangle wave. And you can hear construction Armageddon happening outside of my studio. I have no idea what they're doing. Um, so oscillator 1 is the lead voice. Oscillator 2 is sort of supporting it. Just to give it a little bit of that sort of chorusing type of effect, um, the main event here is finding the right pulse width. Um, on my OB6, it's sort of 3 o'clock, um, gets the right sound. Um, and so we have the two oscillators, we have the high pass filter, and then the envelope is you want to have the attack not set all the way to the bottom. We need that softer attack. Okay, so. That's our lead sound. And then all we have to do is put on some delay and some reverb. Um, and then you kind of have to pick, you know, your numbers here. I chose Bucket Brigade Delay because that's sort of probably closest to what they had at the time, although this one is digital. Um, we can debate that all day long, whether this is authentic enough. Um, but <clears throat> feedback set fairly low, and we've got enough space to be able to go um, you, you'll hear an echo, basically. Um, so I'm going to put this down and play with the pitch bend, just so you can kind of get a little bit more of the feeling of the original. Okay, so hopefully that gives you the idea of. Um, so, yeah, you can make that sound, basically. Um, and then you're just kind of fiddling around in A Mixolydian. Um, so that's sort of the thing that's going on. Um, as far as the drone at the beginning, the question was about the drone and this lead sound. Um, the drone at the beginning is cello, um, but you can sort of make that happen here. Um, let's just... For fun, I'm going to write that. <laughs> um, let's go to a different sound and see. Um, I'll just overwrite this. Um, so you could kind of like tune the two oscillators to different notes and get a fifth, because um, that's sort of what the original was doing. Um, let me do this. So we've got our two oscillators. I'm going to tune this puppy. Oh, so not detune, frequency. So we're going to take the frequency knob. Here we go. Let's see. Let's tune it to G3, right? And that should give us... <coughs> Hang on. Yeah. So there's our two notes. Um, maybe G2 is the answer here. So we get two... There we go. Okay, so let's find 
a sound that's sort of close. Uh, so we've got kind of, let's go kind of somewhere between the square and the triangle. Let's go more towards the saw here. All right, uh, and then we can use our frequency. So this will give you the attitude of a drone. Um, I'm going to set the LFO to modulate filter frequency and fairly slow. So down here, you know, towards the left and the amount is going to be down towards the left because we don't want it to do like a huge amount. I'm going to turn on the hall reverb, um, just the stock reverb. Okay, we're getting there. Uh, let's slow down the frequency. Okay, and let's find a resonance and a filter frequency that could be interesting. Okay, and we'll turn the amount up. And you see, what we're doing is just kind of like finding our way. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So, you know, it's not going to get the original because it's not a cello. But it is something. Uh, so, just play around and see what you can figure out. Turn up the release. Um, so, that's, that's your idea to play with. Um, but definitely you can do the lead sound because that is a keyboard. Uh, so, I hope this helps.